Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill Necrials, but before I start this video, if you're looking for some more Slayer guides, check out the description box below for a full list of all the guides I've posted thus far. Enjoy the rest of the video. So in this guide, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what I do on a Necrial task. However, you can also kill these with melee. I am using a magic based setup for this setup, but I will also show you the melee based setup in a little bit in this video. However, I will go right into the setup of what you should bring. I am bringing a Slayer Helmet, an Occult Necklace, uh, Imbued Zamorak Cape, a Blessing, Book of Darkness, Proselyte Armor, Master Wand, Tormented Bracelet, Holy Sandals, and Sears Ring Eye. Uh, Necrals have zero magic defense bonus, so as long as your magic attack bonuses are above zero, uh, the difference between wearing something like Proselyte versus Arams is not that big of a deal. Uh, what you want to do is maximize your prayer gear because you will need to be praying melee as well as you want to also focus on pieces of magic armor that will increase your magic damage output. So, for example, the Tormented Bracelet gives me a 5% damage output. Uh, the Occult Necklace gives me a 10% damage increase. Uh, the Imbued Zamorak Cape or Imbued uh, Magic Cape will give me a 2% increase. The other pieces of armor that you can wear as well is like Ancestral, which gives 2% per piece, as well as the Kodai Insignia Wand, which gives 15% uh, damage output. So one more thing I want to mention before going to my inventory is that in my setup, the Seer's Ring really makes no difference. Uh, you can wear a Ring of the Gods imbued, uh, but what you really want to look out for your armor setup is the magic attack bonus. As long as it's above zero, you're good to go to kill Necrial. So like I said, this is the armor setup. Let's go right into the inventory here. And with me, I'm bringing a few hundred soul runes just in case I need to use the Blood Barrage spell to heal up. Uh, a couple of prayer potions. Uh, also, some items to get the neck rails aggressive on you. They won't be aggressive unless you attack them, so uh, you want to throw some iron darts at them, or you want to use the Din's Bulwark special attack. So I'm also bringing the Explorer's Ring 2. You can also bring the Explorer's Ring 3 if you have it, but the usefulness of this ring is because it gives you 30 or 40 uh, Alking spells every day for free. I'm also bringing a Draymond Staff to use the Fairy Ring code CIS and then climbing down the hole to get to the Catacombs of Karen, and then going to the Necrails. There are other ways to get to Necrails as well. You can use the Xerix Talisman to teleport to Xerix Inferno, so that way you can run to the Black Dragons and then run through the whole Catacombs of Karen. Uh, you can also use the Draymond Staff and then use the code DJR to get to close to the Chasm of Fire, and then kind of run east to the hole, and then you'll be around the Aberrant Spectres, and you can run north to the Necrails. So if you've never been to the Catacombs of Karen before, uh, I will link in the description box below how to unlock every single hole in the Catacombs of Karen, and it makes your life a lot easier if you're doing Slayer tasks there, so I highly suggest you watch that video. Uh, however, I'm also bringing some teleports to house with me. I'm also bringing a rune pouch filled with death, water, and blood runes to cast Ice Barrage. If you do decide to go the Ice Bursting route, which is a little bit cheaper, uh, I will also link in the description box below the Wikipedias for Ice Bursting and Ice Barraging, so you can see what type of runes you need to bring. Ice Burst is about half the price of Ice Barrage, although Ice Barrage hits one and a half times harder than Ice Burst, so... I'm bringing Ice Barrage with me. You also need 90 magic to be able to cast Ice Barrage, so it really depends on what you want to do. The last item I'm also bringing with me is the Imbued Heart. Uh, I kind of just bring it because I have it, but if you don't have it, you don't need to bring it. I don't think it makes that big of a difference to me at least. I'm also on the Ancient Spellbook. Uh, I also usually have Auto Retaliate off. And then once you have all that set up, you're pretty much good to go to kill Necrails. Okay, so we're ready to go to kill Necrails. Uh, find your closest way to a fairy ring or using your Xerix Talisman, whatever way you want to get to the Catacombs of Karen. I'll use the fairy ring code CIS. And what you want to do from here is you want to run east. And then you want to run past this gate. And then the first south you want to go down. You'll see some giant bats here. You want to run past them. Past this house. And you'll see a couple of houses in, in a little bit. And that is right here. You'll see two houses there that are side by side. And like I said, if you watch that video to unlock the hole of the Catacombs of Karen, uh, you should have this hole unlocked and you'll be able to see it. So uh, what I'll do is I'll pray melee before going down and I'll enter the hole. And what I like to do is to run west. And you want to run south into a darkened path. So keep running west past the greater demons. Run south past uh, this these greater demons as well in this little black spot here. And uh, you will 
get to the Necrails once you come down here. So I found an empty world to kill Necrails in. So there are also some Necrails in the Eastern Room, but I do prefer to kill them in the Western Room because I'm more used to how to kill Necrails there. However, uh, what you're trying to do with this method is you're trying to gather up all the Necrails because right now they're not aggressive on you. Uh, you want to bring them to the northeastern side and to group them up together. And I'll show you guys an example of how to do that. So you can use the Din's Bulwark special attack and gather up all of them up. Or you can use the iron darts and attack each one individually and gather them all up. So I will use the iron darts because I'm expecting most of you won't have the Din's Bulwark special attack. So uh, what you want to do is wield the iron darts. Make sure your auto retaliate is off. Turn on protect from melee. And I'll just zoom out just a little bit so that you guys can see the map a little bit. So what you want to do is attack all the Necrails. And the iron darts should do its thing on rapid and it should be pretty quick to gather them all up. So let's gather them up. Make sure each one is uh, trying to attack me. And you want to run to this northeastern part. So uh, we're pretty much good to go here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to keep running up and then east. And you kind of want to just repeat this process. There's, It really is just practice. Uh, eventually you'll be able to do this with no problems. But if this is your first time, you may need to practice just a little bit. But you can see just by doing that, clicking up and clicking east, uh, they're all bundled up in one gigantic uh, pile there. So once they're all... Uh, piled up you can uh, equip your master wand or whatever uh, weapon you're using turn on your ice burst or iced uh, barrage which i'm going to use right now turn on auto retaliate and then it's good to go uh, when there's like one or two left uh, you can start to think about uh, attracting more of the necrails with you by using the iron darts or the din's bulwark special attack uh, if your inventory is full you can teleport out repeat the process um, so it looks like the thing is the Necrails will keep kind of coming in while you're already ice uh, barraging or ice bursting the previous Necrails. So if that happens, you can turn off your auto retaliate, uh, equip your iron darts, and then pick up all the stuff on the floor and then just repeat the process of uh, gathering up all the Necrails again. So you're not just attacking one or two fresh ones while you can actually be clumping up seven or eight together. One more thing you can also see is that my health is going down. Uh, you can also use a blood brush and kind of just manually cast it and that should recharge your health all the way back to the maximum. So that is something else that you can look out for and that's the reason why we brought the soul runes with us. However, that is pretty much it for the magic part of this guide. I'm going to show you guys how to kill them with melee now. So here's how to kill Necrails with melee instead of magic. So this is how I would do it at least. Uh, I would bring with my equipment, I would bring a Slayer Helmet, Amulet of Torture, Fire Cape, a Blessing, Defender, Arc Light, a Barrow's Gloves, Dragon Boots, Berserker Ring, and some Proselyte Armor. You can swap out things like the Arc Light with a Whip, however the Arc Light is very strong against undead creatures like Necrail, so it's, I would prefer to go with the Arc Light. You can switch out the Torture with a Fury, uh, the Dragon Boots with Primordial Boots or with Climbing Boots, uh, the Berserker Ring with like a Warrior's Ring. Uh, but this is kind of like the basic setup that I want to bring. If you're lower combat, you may want to consider switching out the proselyte with something like Toregs or a Varax. So it really is up to you, but you want to bring some good prayer gear as well as some good melee gear. Uh, in my inventory, I'm bringing a few prayer potions, a super combat potion, and the rest is sharks. I'm also bringing a slayer ring with me. Uh, teleports to house when my inventory gets empty or whatever as well as some fire and nature runes to high elk stuff that the necrails drop So having said all that let's get right into showing you guys how to kill necrails So what you want to do is go using your slayer ring you want to teleport to the Mauritania slayer tower So the necrails are on the third floor of the slayer tower if you want to go that route If you're not doing a slayer task you can go kill the necrails upstairs If you're on a slayer task you can go and kill the ones downstairs so I'll show you guys how to get there and how to kill them so climb down the ladder and you want to run north and like i said you can only kill these uh monsters down here in the basement unless you have a slayer task if you don't have it then you won't be able to attack any of these monsters so uh, what i'll do is just keep running north and they won't be aggressive on you so you can kind of prep a little bit i'll turn on my piety as well as my preserve on i'll drink a dose of my super combat and then I'll just go right at killing the Necrails. So uh, there's not really much to be afraid of other than uh, maybe the superior monster. If that pops up and you are trying to kill a superior monster, just protect from melee and you will be safe from all of the attacks. Uh, they will hit quite hard the Necrails on you, so watch your health, uh, watch your prayer as well, uh, and then watch as well your super combat when you want to drink that. Uh, something that you can also bring as well is like a holy wrench if you want to save some 
prayer doses, but I don't think it's that needed. Uh, but yeah, just kill all the Necrols in this room and, and finish up your Slayer task. So that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this Necrols guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next guide.